Welcome back everyone to the Division 6, Division 7 recap in Season 6 of the REL. I am your host, Ladias, with my good friend... Jimmy Burrito over there. Hey! Wow. And uh, this is the co-host, <laughs> Iron Master. I just had to throw him in there, but uh, how do you like your burritos? Yes, with cheese and no lettuce. No lettuce, guys. You hear that? If you have lettuce, it's wrong. I, I have friends who would agree with you. So as if you couldn't tell, our special guest today is Jimmy Burrito, uh, the shining star of the first two recaps. <laughs> yep. And who who actually put his game on hold to be here for you today, everyone, to give you the inside look. So yeah, Jimmy, sorry, uh, sorry, Vort. It's so postponed. So let's take a look. Week two. Okay, so, so I think we should just start off with uh, Thick, Rich, and Creamy. Thick, Rich, and Creamy. I feel dirty saying that sometimes, by the way. It's the best team. I mean, of course. Do That's a the recap point. like Jimmy Do Burrito does a recap. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect motto. Gotta change every week. Well, I know. So, yeah. uh, we got no double, pressure now. We got double blocks on your werewolves. Yeah, I picked up MVP yep. on uh, I think the werewolf and the uh, and the uh, ghoul, and I got a touchdown on the flesh golem and a zombie. So now I got two block werewolves and a block flesh golem. Touchdown on a flesh golem. Yeah. So did you go wrestling on your ghoul because I said something crazy about it, or you already had that plan? I had that planned because this is my first necromantic team, but I've been using the werewolves to do most of the ball handling. It seems. Ah. Uh. And. Uh, are you thinking I, of getting I was another thinking, ghoul, though? Maybe. I was thinking if I should get Russell on the werewolf, but I thought that would be a waste. I could just put it on the ghoul, and he can, uh, he can take the hits. Take the boots. That's mm -hmm. right. Because you don't want your werewolves to die. They're too expensive. Plus, I mean, whenever they get Mighty Blow, they're just monsters. Sure. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. And you beat your opponent 2-0 because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hemlock Heroes. Okay. I, were they at no show or admin team? It was admin an admin team. team, I think. All so skinks. That, that, that took care of that hero problem then. <laughs> That's um, how I got the touchdown then. On the flesh golem. Here, I was all excited. <laughs> yeah. Like, who needs a ghoul? <laughs> yeah. So, who are you playing this week, week three? Who are you playing? I am playing Vort uh, with teams of Cord and Panda. I do like the Knights of Cord and Panda. Knights. Knights of Cord and Panda. Let's take a look at them. Panda made me do it. Yep. Yeah. Um, I want you to know, I think uh, Ladias thinks my Knights of Cord and Panda are going to win this one. So watch can, out. They can. I think they can. <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Unlike Three blitzers. You, unlike you, he's had to play his games. <laughs> You like a little sauce on your burrito? I mean, he's had to play his games, but uh, look at all that 0-6 SPP on his team. I'm yeah. not disagreeing with you. He needs to do some vanity passes with those panda red, panda black. Is that panda pool? Okay. I revoke my love of your team. You made a Deadpool joke. <laughs> he's also gotten a win in a draw, so his uh, record's pretty good. Big you got any, there. uh, you want to go ahead and spoilers that he's never going to see until your game's over? You, you got a plan against him specifically? Um, no, I think, I mean, I played a bunch of Bretonian in my last, uh, last league, and I think I know how to beat him, so I'm gonna, plan is to step on Panda Pool, make it, it so that he has to spend all his rerolls on picking up the ball. All right. Sounds good. So, Moving on to our next one. No, like, Let's take a look at Please Don't God. Murder Me and Treetop Cops. Come on, 4-0? Yep, that was an insane one right there. High Elves blowing away Wood Elves. How does that happen? Sometimes you just remove all of them. There's no... but. Okay, so three KOs and one injury inflicted might be the, the telltale there. I, I love you saying... Yep. Exactly. 27 versus 36 blocks sustained. One KO sustained. One. Hey. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy here. All right. So, 
That's a lot of SPP on them elves. Let's take yeah. a look at them. Could have been blitz, 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 right, blitz. <laughs> nice. So please don't murder me is the W down there in the bottom right hand corner. Yep. All right. But uh, with that he's gotten three dodge, and I agree with all those. Yep. An obliging blitzer. So he's got a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities to really uh, level early and for oh, yeah, high elves right. that's rough. It's hard to do. Look, he's no, we're yep. here once again. When his opponent was the treetop. Treetop cops, I believe. Treetop cops. There he is. So he came in with the tree, the blit, uh, the war dancer. Got a thrower. Mm. He's only played two games. Unfortunately, he's lost both. So his week three opponent is a a uh, an admin game. So he's gonna get a little moment to yep. gain some money, maybe get that last uh, re-roll. He really he really needs actually. This. I think he's gonna get the war dancer. You think he's gonna oh, get the war dancer? Yeah, second war dancer is amazing, and uh, sadly his first one hasn't gotten any SPP. So what do you think, Jimmy? War dancer, reroll. I would, yeah, I would take the war dancer in this uh, this team. Two rerolls is plenty for what else, I think. Plus, he's got the thrower for the uh, leader. You guys, you guys have obviously never played enough elves. I mean, I play some uh, what elves. Two is fine for a problem war dancer. Is there another team you'd like to take a look at there, oh great co-host? Ooh, what was the other one? We could look up at uh, Lebowski's Urban Achievers. Yeah. Lebowski's Urban Achievers no, no, against the Olive no. Garden. A one, no, yeah. one, pass, one, one interception, one death, one touchdown. This was kind of a one trick game, wasn't no. it? No, yeah, just do a lot of damage. That's all it takes. Alright, so the orcs might have lost the game, but they did not go quietly into the night. If you see and that rookie beastman eating up the MVP. Looks right. Well, I mean two mighty blow and obliging oh, no. a dodging chaos warrior. That is that what it is. Now, I think he actually needs to do uh, some touchdowns with them, or try to do a pass and a uh, injury. Okay. Now, you were saying you need to spread the SPP around? Yeah, that's generally what you want to do. And uh, two touchdowns on those Chaos Warriors can be big results with block and uh, actually block on both. So it's Blodge and Blood, or Mighty Blue. Yeah, you, you got a point there. He is two touchdowns away. and. Getting a ball to a Chaos Warrior is not hard at all. He's got that third Chaos Warrior as well. Three of six. He does. You're right. And so if he gets that one, that's a level up for the first time. Who's so three of four Chaos Warriors primed to level up. I think he's got an admin team neck. Does he now? Another test team. He does. So... <sighs> There's going to be days where this division are just going to be fun to look at. I, I, you guys are coming along great. You got a lot of room for development and and a little bit of room for some uh, some rivalries and whatnot. Yeah, looking forward to see to follow Lebowski Urban Achievers uh, in the rest of the season. He was a good opponent week one. Let's take a quick look at the Olive Garden. See how he came out from his game. That's right, he's got that Agility Up Blitzer and the Blodging Blitzer. And he's got the Guarding Troll. I agree with that Guard Troll, honestly. Yeah, no. It's really you, strong. You don't want to move him. He lost yep. the Black Orc, that was... That was the big hit. Yeah, he may want to go ahead and get a Lineman Orc. No, for no. now. Just so he um, doesn't waste his SPP on the random MVPs. I actually can agree with that, but that also means that he's not going to get 30k for a uh, black work. So the loner might be okay for now. For one game, yeah. I mean, if if you don't if you don't get enough to get the black orc replaced in the first game you play, well, let's check him out. Who's he? Big green weenies. So let's take a look at the big green weenies. Gonna have an orc off. 
Oh, yeah. Orkoffs ha- uh, the orc- the greening weenies have a troll as well. Not much development though. In fact, not any development. That's no the amount of time that 157 episodes. I think he's gotten the uh, admins. Admin wins. True. Right? I- you're probably right. Let's take a look. Wait, he has a missing next Rattler game, so maybe and not. And he had 1-1 one, one against Knights of, uh, Cord and Panda. It's an unfortunate amount of SPP on the line orcs. Especially with yeah, that's, one that's a lot. Game. Thousand hours. But you got black orcs who are one vanity pass away, so... It's really? Vanity not pass or a nice touchdown. Today. Yeah. But he's got enough money in the bank that he could... He could realistically go into this next game if he needs to with a bench. And start playing the foul game. I don't think he can go into with a bench. He would be breaking even if he I bought a player. He he's got 150k. Oh, crap. You, you're you right. Green, big green weenies. I'm, I'm sorry. I was looking at the other team for a second. <laughs> Yeah, the big green yeah. minis have no development, but they've got all four blitzers, anything, four healthy black orcs, a troll, and he had two linemen, but one's MNNG. So, I mean, he could get another lineman. Maybe a goblin. Maybe a goblin. You just want to see somebody throw a, a goblin. No, I want to see one eaten. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Well, is there any, missiles. any other games from week two that are standing out to you? We've looked at the one-one tie. I see the two they make it seem admin nice. rollovers. The four-zero elf off. Uh huh. We even had admin versus admin zero. Oh, out. We forgot the bloopadoops. Are are the Townsend bloopadoops? Are they are they a real team? They're a real team. They we zero zero team speak crew. I am so sorry, there, fellow human peoples. So he's the one with the three, three blitzers. Got the one tackle. So he does have an A level up so far. Got the two catchers and the two throwers. That's a. I still think that's an odd uh, groupment. But he's got a thrower who's one score away. I'm sorry, one throw away from leveling up. He's still in the uh, predicament of Blitzer or Apothecary. And, then, and, then you... and oh, no. Townsend Vloopadoop is going up against the Wood Elves. So, and the Wood Elves have a tree, so that's going to be a rough day. Was that the uh, cops? Treetop cops? Yes, sir. I think so. Let me look again. Yes, it is. So he might have a decent time because that's a newer coach, I believe. Some team out there. Yeah, I think a lot of these are now just uh, some admin teams that need to be removed from the division if possible. I think they tried, but I think it automatically just keeps them there for some reason because they had matches. Because it hates us. Well, uh, yep, Jimmy, is there anything you'd like to... To show off? Uh, no, just the enormous size of our division. We have 20 teams. It's the biggest in the uh, in the REL, and uh, nobody can top us. And Division Five can uh, can uh, keep on complaining and uh, take it somewhere else. And Iron Master. I think Division Six is looking pretty good. A lot of the people haven't really lost too much. I just want to watch it. And they've been developing pretty well, or have a decent bank for everything. At the moment, Nightmare on Elf Street is in the lead, who we did not even look at. Uh, let's throw him up real quick. He's got a level up on a lineman and a blitzer. Okay, let me find him. He's on page two. Got the hand holding yep, the blade. He's the one with two blitzers, and he's got enough money now he can buy his other two blitzers. And he's got two level ups, so That's let's move on. Awesome. Yep. You are going to be stacked and ready to go. 
Well, we're going to visit Division 7 now. Who now has 12 out of 14 teams. And we Let's two. see it. Look at that. Lords of Decay 4-1 against the Labyrinth Death Trap. Wow. And that's a blow. I think that's a uh, Skaven. Yeah. Absolutely. Against Chorf? Chorf, yep. Yeah, that's a uh, bit interesting because they usually have all the tackle for that. But it's hard to get to those uh, gutter runners. Well, I know he suffered a death in this game because I remember seeing that pop up. No, I'm wrong. He did not. Casualties, but not deaths. Four injuries inflicted, the Lords of Decay. Wow, that this totally went backwards. So wait, one person got the score, one person got the, uh, like the ooh, three. also MVP on a loner Hobgoblin, but one person got score, one person got injuries. No, that's four injuries inflicted from Lords of Decay, ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He did four injuries, he did four passes, he scored four touchdowns. Lords of Decay is a, a star this week, without a shadow of a doubt. A really nice spread of SPP on the gutter runners, too. Let's go look at uh, Lords of Decay, because I was just looking at the uh, little card. So, still got the minus AV skink, or not skink, uh, gutter runner. <laughs> and the Lords of Decay? Sorry, that's Fat Rat Pack. I'm looking at the wrong people again. <laughs> it's okay. It was right next to each other. I know. Well, yeah. hey, psst, all Skaven look alike. What are you going to do? I don't know. Dang that. <laughs> but got Mighty Blow, and that's a lot of oh, SPP yeah. on everybody yeah. who needs it on. And he's so. still got 90k to replace these uh, rats when they die. Actually, yeah, yeah, he's in one of the best states I've seen for rats. Yeah. Not dead. Three rerolls, the Apothecary, 12 rats. This is Still not sure on the thrower or not. Well, let's take a look at him. <laughs> he is thrown one pass and made one casualty. So, what's his name? Chris. Oh God, Chris that's... the Slick. Chris the Slick. The gray. Let's just call him gray. The gray one does not care if you have uh, any feelings for him. He will injure you. Sounds one block right. succeeded, one injury inflicted. That's pretty good odds. Yeah. And then he will pass your skull to his friends waiting to touch down. Yep. Sounds right. I like it. But, uh, solid team so far. That's scary. Yes, it is. Um, he is undefeated so far. Though, is that one team of his, the one opponent, was that a admin or Elaborate. Not? Uh, I know Lab Death Traps is it, and yeah. uh, not or sure what that one. Squad is so. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Elaborate Death Trap. Seven fifty. Everyone's favorite seven fifty no, like, shorts. Ooh, he he may want to look into doing the uh, the reroll. Yowch! Well. He's lost. Sounds before. pretty solid. Yeah, he's lost a dwarf since we last looked at him. I guess he did fire. Was he the one that had the movement three guy? I wonder. I think it was, but still, that's that's no bueno. And Mr. Big's down, the only dude with a level. I think the question is, can he rebuild it from here if he doesn't have the uh, option to use the roll? Well, let's see what his week this week's schedule for him is. Elaborate Death Trap has to go up against the Chaos Colonials. The Chaos Colonials... If I remember, they've been doing pretty high, good. Sorry. The Chaos Colonials are a legitimate team. Who has no level ups. Oh no, two level ups yeah, pending. Two level ups pending. So if he goes into this fight against that team, he's taking four uh, loner... Hobgoblins. I think I'd prefer a rerolled fresh chaos doors team. I would. Oh wait a second, the chaos teams uh, can see victories. Say again. 
the chaos team was uh, two concedes against him. It, it so that's is, why he's at the top. It is, but he's still, I mean, he's got to play in week three. So Chaos Colonials have to play the Chorfs there that we're looking at. That are really weak. Like, literally. <laughs> yes. So Tarp Shack might want to use the reroll option to start over. I think I would if I were him. And if you decide to and you want to listen to Uncle Ladeus, go the Six Dwarves. <laughs> six Dwarves, AV9, hard to ruin. You'll have to take a you'll have to take a handful of hobgoblins, but you might have enough money left over to buy either the Minotaur or one of the uh, one of the Bull Centaur. I think you drop a reroll for the Bull Centaur. I'm not a fan of the Bull Centaur, but I'm also not the wisest player ever, so what are you going to do? Yeah. Fire you as coach. Well, fire me as the coach. There you go. <laughs> but I bring nice hats for everyone to wear. And You, you got the little drinking hats? You know if you want them, you got them, Chief. And you get the fun get, uh, guest host for us. Yep, oh, Jimmy Brito is the man. best guest host <laughs> that we've ever had. That's true. Am I the only guest guest host? That is a true story, statement as well. One done. No comment. So the Oriole <laughs> Miners are a dwarf team who actually scored two. Wait, yeah, dwarves can score? I know. Beat a Skaven team two to one. Yeah. He's got... Block on that runner. I believe we saw that. So I think we had already seen some of his development here. But now we know why. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, decent match for him. He picked up his apothecary. And he's yeah, he did. Step. But Go ahead. Uh, do you think he should do a uh, vanity pass with his troll slayer to try to level him up? Because you usually have uh, hard progression until they get mighty blow. I mean, I always think you should be doing a vanity pass if you got one point left to do. I mean, I'm not saying you should do it in the middle of your game, but there's a turn 8 and there's a turn 16. You're a dwarf. You're not one turning anything. It can happen. Said, Just get plus movement. No. No, it can't. They don't... I just... No, I just don't believe it. I, I, you're telling me lies. Anyway, Mostly so he's looking healthy sad. anyway. Yes. And he's got enough money to replace a player if he needs to. So, or does he? Oh, he has a third team reroll. I was looking at Fan Factor. Darn, he's he's actually just solid right now. Yeah, and he's got 80k. He's got his apoth. He's got his three rerolls, and he's doing the slow build to get guard and mighty blow everywhere. What else can you possibly want? Now, are you a guard person or a mighty blow person first? For dwarves, uh, guard. Me, I am. I'm a mighty blow. I do that Gotta for get the, the kills. Yeah, I do that for the Chaos Dwarves. But for these Dwarves, I go guard because it, it, it sucks. And I've played against it so many times that I want to inflict the suck upon others. Okay, so let's move on to the next team. Who do we have? Well, he, he played the Fat Rat Pack, and since you already got a sneak peek, won't you take us into it? Okay, for the Fat Rat Pack, they're 950 Skaven team. They have a missing next game gutter runner with busted AV, and he was one of the leveled ones, so that's a hard hit. And then three fresh gutter runners, a one SVP thrower, and a lineman that leveled up to get two heads. Yeah, then, 160. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know what was going on there. I'd like to know why you went that route. He had a gutter runner die in that game against uh, oil miners as well. Did he die or just get a uh, minus stat? The one at the he, top, like did he die? He had one that died and one that got busted armor. Ooh, that's a tough hit. I don't know. I I think you keep the leaping guy for a little while. At least yeah. At least until you can replace him. Yeah. Or maybe I don't know an apothecary so you can stop that crap from happening. Always a solid idea. This episode's brought to you by the Union for Apothecaries. Yeah, they paid us off with healthcare. 
I mean, I dead appoed into a live, so take my uh, advice. It's good. Sunken Crypt Lords beat the Half Pint Heroes 2 0 and got MVP on a Loner Zombie. Oh, that, that's a Mercenary Zombie. That's not good. Yeah. So, where are the. This looked like a rough game for the Half Pint Heroes. I think we should look at the half pint yeah, heroes because they're easy to find. Because they're up in the middle. Yeah. Also, yep. a ton of I see a lack of hobgoblins in this team again. I see two dead hobgoblins that game and a minus strength hobgoblin. A retiring hobgoblin. Well, there might be one thing you leave him on the team for. Stomping the piss out of everyone. Until minus strength, I think. You're better off with a loner, because yeah, he's more likely to get knocked team. himself, knocked off the field himself, oh, and be right. wasted team value. Yeah, and plus everyone's two dicing him, so with AB7, he's just going to go by. Yep. So rock. I mean, I get your point. I'm not arguing it. It's, it's a good point. He's got the money to buy them. Yeah, if he has the money, I think it's worth replacing immediately. And who does he play this week? He plays no name yet. No name yet. And no name yet. That's an orc team. It is an orc team. Oh, also, I think you should buy an apothecary because they're good. <laughs> and no name yet does have Mighty Blow on a Blitzer. So maybe you ought to listen to these guys. They sound like they know what they're talking about. Who? Yep, they may not have a name, but they have the Mighty Blow. Giggity. <laughs> Sunken Crypt Lords right, cool. were the team we were looking for. Oh, yeah, they're the Fishbone. Oh, they're right there. All on. All undead, all fun. Got a ghoul with sure hands. Now, if you're going to have a ghoul, that's the best ghoul in my opinion to have. Yeah, sure hands is definitely a solid pick. It's definitely going to give you the... Uh, Ball carry you really need, and then he can get uh, block next, and yeah. he's golden. Either block also, this stops Wood Elves from uh, strip balling you. Yeah. Unless they take the effort of getting, you know, wrestle. Mm. Which is a terrible idea for a war dancer. Awful. I mean, totally take it. We like stomping you. I mean, what? <laughs> So he has okay. three re-rolls. He looks like he's doing well. His history shows he's got a 1-1 one, one tie and the, the win over the half-pint heroes. Solid record going in. Yes, sir. I wanted to take a quick look at the Bitter Soggy since we were right there. Yeah, they're the ones with that murderous uh, berserker. Oh, wow. That thing is just not cool. Stop. <laughs> He still has not spent the 80k on the replacement player, though. I really don't think he has to until the Berserker. For the Berserk, for the second Berserker. How much is a Berserker? That's a good question. I think they're pretty expensive. 90k, if I remember correctly? Well, then he's just a handful of coins away. Yep, he literally can't roll less than 90. It's true. So, looking at week three, is there any team or any matchup that just stands out to you? I think the Lords of Decay versus the Bitter Soggies, both high uh, teams. Thinking the exact same thing. I'm wondering if the Lords of Decay can pull off, you know, just four points against another kind of batch team. Yeah, Lords of Decay, I think, can actually deal with people because they have a Mighty Blow uh, Storm Vermin, so they're going to be taking pieces off, and then they got the scoring potential everywhere. And Blodge everywhere. Um, I think we have a new team. We want to take a look at I was him. just going to say, this Nickelodeon All-Stars. That's right, a fresh human team, dressed in the beautiful gaudy yellow, bringing an ogre to the field, four blitzers, two re-rolls, one thrower, one catcher. 
and an apothecary. That's going to be your big Hold thing on. there. Stick Stickly. His first game like against his first game against the oil miners is a rough uh, intro to the league. Yeah, I, not disagreeing with you, but if you're going to play dwarves, playing them before they're all uh, level guard, up, mighty blow, guard, mighty blow, guard, yeah. mighty blow. This is the time where the humans are going to get to just to, to maybe get away with it. Plus, he has one catcher, so that's going to be easy to uh, avoid dwarves with it. He's just going to be hooking them around. So, now I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do there. Uh, Kevin Storm. Dun, dun, dun. Ba-choo, choo. Well, Mr. Burrito, is there anything in this division that just like. catches your eye? I'm looking at this... Uh... Lizard team, Innsmouth Lookers. Yes, sir. That's true. They are pretty developed. They're looking uh, pretty good. Um, I mean, one block Saurus is huge. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got a busted armor Saurus, but a uh, sidestep skink and a block Saurus and uh, Croxagore is five of six. I think he's on his way. Two rerolls and an Apo. Yeah. Also, the uh, sources aren't actually too expensive. They're only an ADK player, so it's not like uh, replacing anything huge. Well, he's going yeah. up against the Culinary Delights. The Culinary Delights is a very uh, beat up. Aren't they the beat up chaos team? Yeah. Chaos yeah. Chaos Two team. Chaos Warrior Chaos team. I believe Trox Birds was talking today in Discord while he's going to try to use that reroll option. I think we have talked him into it. Yep. I think he was talking to Luminous earlier. So. I would if I could. That's just, that's harsh. So he may be able, I don't know, I think you would keep the, uh, the Saurus for a little bit until you had enough money to replace him. Yeah, Saurus for the uh, strength advantage, definitely, because the loner skink ain't going to do too much good. Yeah, I mean, you can't do anything because he's missing next game for the, the injury, but depending how your game goes off against the uh, the fresh, I assume, Chaos team that he's going to build, you know, week four, who does he fight, face? Another Chaos team, the Chaos Colonials. Yeah, he just doesn't have a good situation with having to re-roll this. Well, that's what I'm saying. He really needs the early SVP. The Lizard Man's going to be facing back-to-back -back chaos. He may want to go ahead and keep the busted up one unless he wins against Toxbird and gets, you know, enough change to replace that guy. You know, I have to say the uh, Lizard's going against chaos is actually a good thing because they don't have any claw yet. Or block, really. So, yep, that too. I mean, neither one of them have blocks, so, you know, they're on even footing. Well, let's take a look at our leaderboard. The leaderboard for Division 7 is a little bit different than for Division uh, 6. You got three undefeated teams. And one's only been against admin teams. But it's still undefeated. The win is Technically away. right. The... Uh, well, I mean, by that logic, there's five undefeated teams. I do not see the Nickelodeon team yet in, so they'll probably be taking somebody's place, one of the admin teams. So, unfortunately, they do come in with a 0-2. It's still comebackable, but that's going to be a really hard fight if he really wants that playoff spot, but this can be good development anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's what you really got to make your decision, uh... Are you going to be trying to, to steal that playoff spot and take it all the way up against Division 1, Division 2, Division 3 teams in not only are the REL, but the G-Man and the Big O? Yeah, if you you've ever seen AB, yeah. Uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, or do you focus on building your team up and coming back next season with a lot of hate and anger? I would definitely build up this season because have you seen those like disgusting big teams out of everywhere else? And uh, Jimmy, how did you find the rebel? Uh, I don't remember. I think I was just looking for a persistent league that was not uh, Euro time zone. 
because I'm also playing in the OCC, but I have to play my games at like six o'clock in the morning on the weekends. So, I'm just trying to avoid that. Gotcha. You you never played in the Rebel uh, Rookie League or anything like that? No. Because no, I've been no, playing real uh, man. <laughs> Blood Bowl for a couple of years uh, with some uh, friends from Eve. So, uh, gotcha. We had some experience, so I figured I'd start with the starting the pros. There you go. Just jump right in, right into the fire. Well, for those of you who don't know, someone from the Rookie League is going to play in our Super Bowl playoffs this season. They have one designated right. spot for the Rookie League. Um, I'm not sure where the Miners. Are. Yeah, the Miners. I don't know. Is that is it the Miners division specifically? It is uh, just the Miners League, and it's the championship off their Super Bowl. So there you go. They have the ability the opportunity to come in and show everyone in the Rebel up. And I think they have the wild card seed, so it's not even like the worst footing out there, if I remember correctly. Yep. So you can find now some of that information on uh, Reddit. Join us in our Discord. Get to know some of the coaches. I know the Richest T did that for a while before he ever started playing. Uh Iron Master, do you have anything that you have uh, going on in your world? Any channel? Any? Um, I got a YouTube that's pretty dead. Got a YouTube that's pretty yeah. dead. Okay. <laughs> Haven't posted in a month, so uh, I might come out with something if I uh, have any good clips from you guys that I have not been PM'd about. Jimmy Burrito, if you get a good clip, please hand it to me. <laughs> Will do. Jimmy Burrito, do you have anything going on on the internet that you'd like to pimp out? Uh, no, I don't. All right. Well, obviously, if you're watching this, you you know where my channel is, but I'm going to ask you if you got the time or if you want to maybe listen to a podcast kind of uh, video while you're playing your game, yeah, you check out the ECS Network. It's a, a group of people I work with, and we deal with all kinds of fandoms from tokusatsu and board games, uh, movie reviews, all kinds of stupid nerd things that don't involve getting up off the couch. I like not getting up from the couch. I was about to say, would you like to take us out there, Master? Anyway, so this has been the recap for Division 6 and Division 7 for Week 2. And thanks to our co-host, Jimmy Burrito, for coming on. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. And then our main host, Lydias, for uh, putting this all together and trying to get us to, you know, get places so that's been the end of this recap i hope you liked it uh please subscribe and uh give ladius all your attention and please spread this around i'm totally not being paid <laughs> except by the apothecary union see you guys next week Pause.